What's up, my fellow riders? Today is part four of adding parts and accessories to my 2012 Sportster 72. sounds going to be probably horrible um, just in general my videos suck so whatever um, but we will start out with uh, we got pegs sorry we got pegs to do today the shifter peg that shifter peg and just the regular peg there that one there with I went with the uh, defiance collection I did the hand grips already in that Defiance collection. So I'm going to do the, the pegs. And um, shouldn't take too long. It looks like most of them are held in by uh, retainer clips. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We'll start her now. We'll start out with the shipper peg since I'm using the box that the Regular pegs coming on. Come on. There's the shifter peg. And the bolt for it. So we'll be replacing that. So I need to get an Allen wrench that size. WD-40. I'm just going to work this off slowly so I'm not breaking the bolt off because that would be a wonderful thing. sure there's some torque specs, but I'm just going to really tighten them up. We're going to take off the retainer clip and put on 
pegs, the defiance pegs, the part number and stuff you can see there. Oh, a box in a box. A box. A box in a box. And I'm throwing these, usually they save parts, but these are, I don't like them, so they're junk. I'm not even going to save the, save them to put them back on if I get rid of it. Nobody, nobody needs that crap on their bike. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> the old brakes parts cleaner. the round end up so when you hit something it can fly up on you or it allows it to move up on you or not flop down and be stupid there's always that option in other words I'm going to go one way Painting ring back on. They may need adjusted, but something like that. I'm thinking they may need to be more flat, but I'll just adjust them once I take my first ride. So that side's done. We're going to move over to the other side. Let's get the rest of the peg installed. Screwdriver. Need a screwdriver. Thank you. 
there they are. I think the next one we'll be taking off the passenger pegs, and we'll do the lights and everything in the back later, because we'll have to drop the back end a little bit. So that means taking the rear shock, bottom shock bolts off and such. So anyway, we'll talk at you later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.